now cpu it is a central processing unit it is used to execute the program instruction and processing data inside the computer system cpu is responsible for processing of the input data controlling and managing the operations of computer and generating the desired output cpu also known as the brain of computer it consists of a resistors control unit and arithmetic logical unit now resistors resistors are high speed temporal temporary storage area for holding data addresses and instructions during processing the instructions each and every resistor have several purpose and resistors work in the control unit of the cpu the size of each resistor is called the watt size and it is determined by its functions the bus architecture computer is electronic device as we know that and it consists of input output devices and a processor and memory these devices communicate with each other through a wires connected between the cpu and the devices this set of wires is called the bus and through this bus data is transmitted the number of bits transfer can be increased by the parallel connection of several wires now this is the we can see the architecture of buses buses are shared by different devices we can see that uh, these are the three buses data bus address bus and control bus and this is the data transfer between these input devices and the memory and the cpu via bus data bus contain data address bus contain the addresses and control bus contains the control signals now parallel buses carry data in parallel on multiple wires and serial buses carry data in bit in, in the serial form the number of bits carried in parallel by the bus is called the size or width and number of bits transferred per second is called the capacity or the speed of the bus the buses are commonly available in size of 4 bits 8 bits 16 bits 32 bits 64 bits and so on it will be an 2 to the power numbers and uh, as we saw there are three types of commonly used bus data bus address bus and control bus we will see now in detail this type of buses now first bus is data bus it is used to transfer data or instruction between the cpu and the memory unit of a computer it is a bidirectional bus because it allows the transfer of data in both directions there are two types of operations read operations and write operations when the data is transferred from cpu to memory it is called write operation we are writing to the memory and when data is transferred from memory to cpu it is called a read operation so we are reading this now database is also shared by io devices of the computer system data bus can transfer the data or instruction in one direction at a time 